Excellent. point. The only thing better, better than, than that, that the other P word we love, pasta. Our next guest has wowed millions of people on social media with his creative pasta videos. What he creates is unlike anything mm -hmm. you will see in stores. I'm gonna show you the top five most popular characters in my Cartoon Ravioli series based on views. Number five is Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. My daughter's actually never seen the movie, so she thought he was a koala bear. Number four is kind of random, but Cartman from South Park, who my daughter thought was me. Daddy, ding! Oh! Number three was Hello Kitty. Understandable, everyone loves Hello Kitty. Oh, cats one. Number two is Bluey, who my daughter did not know at first, but thanks to everyone yelling at me in the comments, she has now seen. What is it? Is it dog? Number one with over 10 million views is Shrek. I guess I should not be surprised. Shrek is still very popular. Is it, is it, is it, is it now? Man. Okay. I love her. I love everything about this. So meet Danny Freeman, AKA at Danny Loves Pasta on Instagram <laughs> and TikTok. He just released his debut cookbook. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And he's going to show us how to make colorful and creative fresh pasta. So without any further ado, Danny Las Pasta Hello. is joining us live. Hello. Thank you for having me. Oh, this is fun. This, first of all, this work of art that is in front Thank of you. us <laughs> is <laughs> unlike many things we have seen. But the, the most interesting thing to us, aside from these pastas, you, you were a lawyer. I was a lawyer for 10 years here you in New York. You have some explaining to do. <laughs> yeah. How does this happen? Uh, I was a lawyer. I was working at a nonprofit as a housing attorney, helping people who were being evicted. Um, and then after COVID hit, we went remote. Uh -huh. And I couldn't be home to be with my grandparents for, for Christmas. So I decided to make fresh pasta. My grandmother always made fresh pasta. She was an amazing chef. Um, and then a couple weeks after Christmas, she ended up passing away oh. uh, very suddenly. And I just kept making pasta. Like it was so, it's very meditative. Yes, <laughs> I'd be in the kitchen, I'd be you. thinking of her. And it morphed into these colors, which are all based on, um, all from vegetables and spices and things like that. And uh, it's kind of taken off. This is one of those stories, <laughs> like we talk about things that came out of that the strange period in time. Yeah, and this is one yeah, of those definitely. Really beautiful ones. <laughs> Again, so many questions. Before we get it, we're going to make these cute little pumpkins because we're transitioning into fall. I want to eat one of now, those. Now, I understand you get the, the color you, by, yeah. using, by using different vegetables, like the red is a beet. How do you get blue? Yeah, so they're all vegetables and spices. The blue is blue spirulina, which oh, is like an allergy okay. powder. I know that one. I know <laughs> yeah. it too. I put uh -huh. it in, in a protein. smoothie. You put it in yeah. smoothies, exactly. So we've got turmeric and spinach and paprika and red peppers. And you, you do everything. this all. This comes out of your brain. Um, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> wow. Is there a favorite pasta you have, in, like shape? Honestly, I love making bow ties. They're yeah, kind they're of cute, cute and simple and fun. Um, they're easy. If you've never made pasta before, that's an easy one to try. Okay, okay. I think we can handle it. How do you get the red and yellow swirl? It's in the book, but um, yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you have to get check out the book. But yeah, you, uh, you just take Fine. two colors and you roll it and slice it into a spiral. See, it's sounds very easier easy. than it's it would so probably be. It's so much easier than people think, trust me. Wow. Did you ever imagine in your wildest dreams when you were an attorney, or even before you were an attorney, <laughs> that you would be Danny Loves Pasta? Honestly, no. <laughs> I, know, I, love I thought that so I would much. be a lawyer forever. I really liked my job. I loved my work. Um, but you never know where life is going to take you. So I've been, I've been on this ride for a couple years now. Your biggest critic and probably your biggest fan, your daughter. <laughs> Give us the honest truth. What does she say about this pasta? Does she like it? My daughter does love pasta, but there's like a 50-50 chance she feeds it to the dog. So <laughs> you never know um, if she's going to eat it or if it's going to be on the floor. And I'm I'll sure be the dog loves it. He, he's but always there begging. Do you have begging. any art in your background? Because that... Listen, this is artistry. <laughs> like, did you just oh, well, you just getting a lot of reps while you're home? I don't, at the I don't feel like I'm that artistic of a person. I feel like anyone could do this. You just uh, learn, okay. practice. You so. We're gonna do it. You will see. Well, it's if not anyone that hard. can do it, <laughs> it's, are you it's, ready? Uh, you you looking at me? Because we're both doing it. All right, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do a pumpkin. Oh, yeah, we're making pasta? pumpkin ravioli. So the the orange dough is from roasted red peppers that I pureed and put into the dough. We've got oh, we see. each have, can you go in the middle? Sure, so sure, can... I'll go in the middle. Yeah, okay. yeah, you're not going to make me do this one, Lottie, so she always makes me work. I do. We're all going to do it. We have butternut, a butternut squash filling. Oh, it's a butternut squash filling. Perfect okay. Football. Looks amazing. So. Look at this, Hector. This is gorgeous. We're just going to put um, a little dollop of filling. Before, before, so yeah. you gave us, he gave us, can yeah. we get the overhead shot? This beautiful sheet of pasta, and then this is just a cookie cutter. Yeah, people don't realize you can use cookie cutters. It's one of my most used uh, oh, items in the kitchen, cookie spills. cutters. So you made, a, you made one of these little fellas. Yeah, so we, I made a little a mess imprint. Already. But we're going to fill the little imprint with, oh, we, you with want to make filling. Okay. okay. Yeah. How much? What's in here? This is butternut, butternut squash, squash, sage, ricotta, parmesan. Awesome, what I got. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. So just do like a little 
a little circle, circle like that. You don't want to go quite to the edges because we got to. You got to squish it. We got to squish it exactly. This is meditative. I could see Perfect. why you got into okay. this business. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to fold it over um, to fully cover the ravioli. And now, if your if your dough is dried out, you can always like just add a little bit of water oh, I love on. That. Okay. Like the holy water. You know, you do not want your ravioli bur bursting when you cook it. So. I just oh, on the outline. rub on a little bit of water okay. just to seal it, make sure the filling stays inside. Perfect, perfect. Okay. okay. And then we're gonna fold it over. I give me a... Just like this. Okay. So you're fully enclosing the filling. Goodbye, sure. filling. And then press all around the filling. You want it nice, uh, nice and safe in there. <laughs> nice and safe, tuck away. Perfect, perfect. Nice and safe. All right, now, you can use any cookie cutter with pasta. I mean... You name it. It's endless. If they it's make endless. The cutter, you can make <laughs> exactly. that pasta. So we're doing but little for, pumpkins But for here. ravioli, because this is a stuffed it's, situation. Right, exactly, exactly. So perfect, perfect. Okay, so perfect we've got our cookie chance. cutters, and we're just going to press down real hard, mm -hmm. real firm, all around it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there you go. And then just pull the dough away. Okay. This is so much and fun. We've got a little ravioli. I That's messed it. up. No, I messed up. No, it's What'd perfect. What'd you do, Maddie? I don't know. I feel like Boom. Looks not great. perfect. Boom. There you go. Pasta. <gasps> exactly. So that's it. Okay. We'll okay. go and you. <gasps> so this you would just cook in boiling what? water. Are you kidding me? For and a few then minutes. Do you salt the water before you put it in? Salt the water there before you put it salt in. Salt it briny like the sea. Exactly. That's what they say. Exactly. And then when they rise to the top, they're done. Exactly. When they rise to the top, and See, fresh pasta cooks a lot faster than right. Pasta. So I love it. Just a few minutes. Do you ever get your daughter involved in the pasta making? She is often involved in the kitchen. <laughs> Does she love the cookie the cutter part? <laughs> she likes playing with the dough. You know, it's mm. kind of like play-doh yes. for a three-year-old. Right. So that you can eat. she's always in there. Okay. What is the obstacle that you encounter when you? Because you didn't become Danny loves pasta overnight. I would oh, actually you did kind of. <laughs> what am I talking about? Were um, there any obstacles to this? When did you realize? Oh my gosh, I have something here. Well, I started, and I'm going to make a book. I started making my grandmother's recipe. She did not do all this. She made, you know, traditionally I made cavatelli for the first time. Okay. Um, Love a deal. And so it was a lot of trial and error of saying which vegetables work, which, you know, comes out a nice color. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of these are traditional spinach pasta, beet right. pasta. Um, some are less traditional, but it was a lot of just practice and, and seeing what works. Okay. And then how did that translate into I have a real thing going on? You got on your here. groove. Yeah. I started posting videos on social media, on TikTok and Instagram, and people were always intrigued, like I've not seen pasta like this before, but then once I started telling my story, I talked about my grandmother, my daughter, passing on traditions to my daughter, that's when people really connected. I was amazed by how much people feel connected to food and their traditions and the food they ate growing yeah. up. So what do we always say? That is really what, uh, what caused me to take that's off. That's what makes the world go around. That's yeah. right, food. food. Yeah. And conversation, <laughs> drinks. It's true. Now, what's uh, what have you? Here? Well, let, can we ask? Oh, sorry. About oh, go, go. The, sure. I so need to know at this point. I, I see eatable food. Yeah, I'm ready. I made. Yeah, this is all um, cooked. This is cooked pasta. Thank you. Thank this you. is a creamy mushroom sauce oh. I made. You can find the recipe on my social media accounts. Um, it's got mushrooms, broth, cream. It's it's a simple. This is like a 20 minute recipe. So this is something you can make for dinner. And well, we, 20 we, minutes minus what's well, in, the, in the pasta. <laughs> right, the pasta is pick the a day, step. pick a Sunday, make the boys help you, make the fresh dough, you can, you know, you can store it. But yeah. all the recipes in the book for sauces, you can just use a box of pasta. So if you don't okay. want to make fresh pasta every night, throw in a box of pasta, you can use any of the sauce right, recipes. What do we, what do we think mm -hmm. of this? It looks divine. Mm -hmm. It's creamy, it's buttery, I give it an 11 out of 10. <laughs> I give it an 11 out of 10. Thank you. Danny. Yeah. And it's trendy. Mari loves pasta too, especially when Danny makes it. This is delicious. <laughs> Holy smoke. Delicious and easy. This is this is an easy sauce to make. Okay. I love will, it. Will you graduate from this pasta to something else in your culinary world? Have you left the My... law world altogether? Um, I don't know if my former boss is hearing me <laughs> on this, but for now, yes, I have. For now, okay. I mean, who knows? You never know where the you future never will know. take you. That's right. But my other favorite is dessert. I love baking. I love making dessert. So uh -oh. you know, okay. there could be some more cakes and I feel like there's, in my future. There's there's another book coming. There's another book coming, <laughs> and I hope you go ahead. There's one recipe in the book that is not pasta that my husband insisted I include. Which is okay, for, if the husband <laughs> said, which one is it? It's for brown butter chocolate chip cookies. And I said, this is not fit. This is a pasta cookbook. He said, no, you have to include it. So I, you know love that's, that's a right. I love a little <laughs> yeah. Easter egg. That's the one recipe in there. If that it was like pasta. a vegetable side dish, I would have said leave it out. But no. it's, a, it's a cookie. Right, exactly. Leave it in. Danny, thank you so much. Yeah, Congratulations. Thank you for having me. This is mm. great. Thanks for leaving mm. all of this for us. It's so nice. A little yourself. fall Help harvest yourself. spread, and you can follow Danny on Instagram and TikTok at Danny Loves Pasta. And his, his debut, Danny Loves Pasta Cookbook, is out now wherever you get your books. It's very pretty. Go get it. It's really nice. <laughs> we'll it's be right back. One. I'm going to finish this. I might have another one.